Uh, the biggest dangers are falling down crevasses, I would say, and that's happened a few times. Uh, but you, you're trained to deal with that. And uh, I think the most frightening incident was getting shot at in Pakistan, and there was some automatic fire after that. It happened so quickly, you, you just didn't realise what was going on until, until after the event. I had a few gouges from uh, falling down slopes and landing on ice axes and that sort of thing. And I broke two ribs last, or this summer, which, um, but that's unusual. <laughs> I'm a, a glaciologist, which is somebody who studies snow and ice, and I'm particularly interested in glacier hydrology, which is looking at how water moves on the surface within and beneath glaciers, uh, and how that responds to changing environmental parameters, such as, for example, uh, a warming climate. I first became interested in glaciers in 1990 uh, when I was an undergraduate student and we organised an expedition to Iceland and I wanted to pursue a career where I could work in the outdoors, work in some spectacular surroundings and also do something that was reasonably practical. Uh, well I've done three trips this summer, two to Switzerland, one to the Arctic. I wouldn't call it living the dream, uh, it is the p part of the job I enjoy the most, um, but it's very hard work. I think people think that when you go on to, into the field you're, you're off for a jolly for three months, but you're working long hours, it's cold, it's wet, uh, you've potentially got polar bears wandering about. Oh, you've got to get the data that your grant awarding body is expecting. Yeah, we took students to Switzerland last year for three weeks helping with my research. Um, yeah, the whole thing depends on getting funds from grant warding bodies. It's very much money dependent uh, as to where you go and what you do. The next trip is June next summer. Uh, we've got £3,000 worth of funding to take three undergraduates out to Switzerland and assist with some research we're doing there.